I don't think there's anything abnormal about their request. You don't? Yes. I mean, you've always been generous to them. Besides, you've always been supportive of that union, so there's nothing wrong. Yes. Mm. What a horror. I don't want him to be disgraced out of office like that. Who is Oko? <laughs> that womanizer. <laughs> Sweetheart, please. I do not belong to your union, but sometimes I just sit and wonder how on earth he got to that position because I know that there are credible men in that union that deserve that post, not him. He might be a womanizer. Mm. He might also be stingy. Stingy? Did you just say stingy? Just like that. Stingy is an understatement. That guy is hey, the highest Akara guy there is. But back, we really. Yeah, but he has his good sides too. What good side? What are you talking about? Mm, please. Anyway, you sought for my advice and I'm giving you. And that is? It is such an honor for a group like that to come to you on their own to present such an honorable request. If it's something you think you can do, go ahead. Don't think about it. But if not, let it be that you cannot carry the responsibilities and not because of what your friend Okoroka will think. Well, I'm only thinking about my relationship with him. What relationship? What has that got to do with anything? He will understand. Then forget that one, it's not an issue. Besides, he knows that you did not lobby for the post. You were on your own and they made you an offer. Hmm? Yes. Mm. You have a point there. Oh. But uh, I am supposed to look out for him. <laughs> there are several other ways. Plenty. Besides, does he look out for you? Have you asked yourself if he does? <laughs> I don't know what my friend has done to you. I don't know why you hate him so much. See, left to me alone. That your friend will not be coming to this house. <laughs> my wife does not like People my have friend. Said anything. <laughs> he won't just be coming to this house. It is just my my, my decision to me. Hey, why don't you like my friend? I haven't said anything. Anyway, just think about it. Hmm? Think about it carefully. And I trust you to make a wise decision. Thank you very much. I see why you Of course, I told you I'll come back. Okay? Maybe tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. I mean. sorry for the short notice but I figured out it'd be better on a Sunday like this when our heads are not full of business I don't have any problem with that you know my house is equally your house you can come anytime you want <laughs> <laughs> thank you well I have been waiting for you to talk about it again but I don't think you will ever do it's about this our trade you don't think I have come for us to Take a decision on how to handle it. I don't know what you want me to say or what you want me to do, my brother. In as much as I find it very difficult to understand why our trade union people will treat me like this. 
after three years of service. But the truth of the matter is that I cannot force myself on them. It is indeed a pity. I know you're a very good leader. So it beats me why they would wake up one day and take such a decision. And it's not as if some are for you and some are against you. No. They all seem to be singing the same song. And that is because they say they are looking for a credible man to be their chairman and you are the one they have found. Oh, come on. Don't talk like that. You're a credible leader. I, I think there's more to it. That's why I've come for us to talk. They have given me three weeks to accept the offer. So it's a threat now. Are they going to force you to accept the offer to become the chairman just the same way they want to force me out of the office? They are pleading. Last Sunday, they were all at my house. All the executive members pleading. Udubondo, these people are being too money conscious. I know why they are doing this. Considering the way you go throwing money all around, throwing money around, who wouldn't want to have you as the chairman? Sincerely, my brother, these people are concerned with what they can gain from you. Okuloka, being a chairman is not just about throwing money about using your words. It involves more responsibilities. So what then is the problem? Go ahead and accept the offer from them. What about you? I don't just want these guys to deal with you anyhow. So that's why I've come for us to find a middle ground so that no one is cheated or disgraced. <laughs> You make me laugh when you sound this way. Sincerely, I have decided not to say anything about this because I already accepted my fate. The same people I have served diligently for years will just wake up one morning and say they don't want me. I don't know why. And I, 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 I don't want to question their decision. I don't know. I, I, I didn't steal their money. I didn't abuse the office. So I don't know what their reasons are. Is it because of my women? That's my personal life. It's not supposed to be anything of, of, of concern to them. My take on this is, if they have decided to have you as the chairman, please, my brother, go ahead and accept the offer. Sincerely, I don't have any problem with that. I take it that this is from your heart? Of course, it's from my heart. Because I believe if you are there as the chairman, then I am the one who is there. <laughs> but you will do me one favor. I want you to wait until the end of the three weeks they gave you before you accept that offer. Why do you ask for such? Because I know these people. And they know how we value our friendship. By making that offer to you, they want to end it. And if you, are, if, if you accept what I just said and wait until the end of three weeks before you accept that offer, you are indirectly giving them notice that you are not in a hurry to end that friendship. Even as you are waiting, I also want you to advise them occasionally to have a rethink on this their decision to have Opoloka removed from office. It is not as if I will eventually decide again to go back to that office, no. But when you tell them that, it will make them understand you value our friendship deeply. You have a point. I think I will leave it till the end of three weeks. I can comfortably do that. Is it not why I said you are the best? <laughs> I know you will agree. <laughs> <laughs> I know you will agree. Oh, no, I can't do it. Oh, no, I can't do it. Oh, no, I can't do well with you. It's well with you, right? My man. I can't believe you.
believe you're saying this. I just told you that this man almost saw me out there when he drove in. Almost, you say? Almost, not that he saw you. Can you understand from that that what you're saying is of no importance? It's not relevant. I want us to talk, please. All I'm saying is that you could have told me that he was coming so that I could coordinate my movements. Yeah, I didn't know he was coming. I got to know when he was almost here. Listen to me. The important thing is that he did not see you. So can you understand that what you're saying is not important? I want us to plan. I want us to talk. Nah, man. I'm just tired of this whole thing. I, I, I wish this whole thing can just come to an end so I can leave this country. I can't continue to live this kind of hide and seek life. Exactly my point. Now, we have just three weeks. Three weeks to execute the plan we have, and then you will leave this country. Why? Three weeks? Three weeks is such a short time. Can you hear yourself? You are the one that just told me now that you cannot wait to leave this country. And suddenly, you are the same person telling me that three weeks is so short a time to execute plans. What is the matter with you? Listen to me. That idiot is going to accept that offer to be the chairman of the union. And that is what I want to stop. You have three weeks to strike. And let me tell you, you must. Read my lips. You must strike before the end of three weeks. Uh, has he decided to accept the offer? I always knew he would accept, only that I didn't know the time. But today he confirmed to me that in the next three weeks he is going to accept that offer. I had to give him my support because I knew that he would have been destroyed completely by the time we had done. Hmm. It means that um, I have to fast forward everything. That's the, that, that's the word. Fast forward everything. Now listen to me. If you can execute our plan faster than immediately, it will be appreciated. Making him fall for me. Sleep with me. And then, and then I, I claim that I am pregnant. It's not going to work in three weeks. What is your plan B, boss? Why do you endlessly give me this impression that your brain is packed with pap? Must I be the one telling you everything? Listen to me. You are the one that must come up with something. That evil man is out to, de to destroy me. He is out to dislodge me. And you have to come up with something. I want his name to be dragged in the mud so that he can go out of circulation. You have to figure out something to do. Something that will make him go out of circulation. And you have just three weeks to do that. Now, if you cannot come up with something tangible, it simply means that I have no reason whatsoever calling you my Lizzie and my Jezebel. I am simply your Lizzie, whom you're going to send to Las Vegas Boulevard. I am not a Jezebel and I will never be. Whatever. But you, you must have to come up with something that will make me believe anything. Fast. What kind of game are you people playing? I went to the boutique. The girls there told me, Madame is at the supermarket. Now I am here. You say, Madame went to the boutique. So a whole Udubondo, you have turned me to a rippling turner. Where is your Madame? Has she been here today? Uh, Madame was here this morning, but she left before noon. Did she say where she was going to? No, no sir, she didn't tell us anything. She only asked us to take care of the shop. Because sir, maybe she had an emergency. Emergency that Amanda cannot tell me about? What is Amanda telling to?
You're not taking it nicely. Do you still want to go see the other woman? Is it not enough sad news for the day? I, I do not believe any of the things she said. I just couldn't connect with her story. Then why not go home? Or, or you still want to go see the other woman? Who, who knows? Her story might even be more annoying. I have already set out to see them today. Let me finish what I started. I just... I don't want to disturb the priest again. Because he said that my daughter is simply living with a man. There is no way he can invoke the power of God. No, madam. I don't think he understood the priest very well. He is praying for her just as he is praying for everyone. I believe God will answer at his appointed time. Amen. My daughter is living under the influence of some spiritual forces. They've closed her eyes and her ears. I don't know what to do. Madam, keep praying for her. I believe God will finally show why he is God. God is God. He is not man. Why do you seek to know why I left him? What makes you think I'm willing to tell you that? Because you're a woman like me. Too many things are happening. A lot of things have happened. I need answers. Strange things like what? Your inability to have children. You know, I thought yours was different. I never knew you were unable to have children. What are you talking about? My friends asked why I left. They all thought I was crazy. My parents in particular were mad at me. No one understood what I was going through. No one could believe that the man I got married to was not whom everyone believed him to be. My dear, I strongly believe Udubondo is a member of a deadly occult. So many strange things that I cannot even talk about happened in that house. One of which was my inability to have children. It was medically proven that I could conceive and Uduku father a child. But we were unable to have children. So I went as far as getting someone to impregnate me, just in case the medical reports were, were not right. What happened next was the last straw. Why are you asking me that kind of question? Are you no longer my wife? Why were you resisting in the first place? into me and I got pregnant. Something told me to avoid Udu. I resisted him for three months. Giving him excuses whenever he comes to me. But that night, my resistance got broken. I allowed him in. And that was it. I lost the pregnancy. I needed no prophet to tell me my husband was a compromised man. Hmm. So I left. So you got married after you left his house? 
It was a tough decision, for Udo allowed me access to money, real money. I told myself the truth. Money is not everything. I left all the money and riches and moved on with my life. Look at me now. I have three children. I'm the present man of the hmm. Madam Cheta, <clears throat> I want to ask you a question. When you were in Udu's house, did you encounter any strange woman? You know, funny woman that probably told you to leave the house. Strange woman? Yes. No, I didn't. Though I felt like someone was watching me in that house, but I never encountered anyone in person. Like I said, so many strange things happened in that house. A lot. A lot. Women has experienced that kind of thing. I'm not arguing with you, pretty. I am not. It's just that Udu has to tell me what's going on with him. He has to tell me what has been happening. He has to say something. Just take it easy. Don't allow this to break your home. <laughs> I wish I had a home. I have everything, but I don't have peace of mind. And how is that a home? Please. Just take it easy. Coming from the supermarket. I have been there four times today. The last visit I paid to your shop was about 20 minutes ago, so I ask again, where are you coming from? You don't want to see the other side of me, do you? Have you been playing around in this small town of Manager where I rule as king? How dare you think of such a... Then where the hell have you been? Where were you all day? You couldn't take your calls? Neither could you return. What were you doing? I went to see your ex-wives. You heard me right. I went to see your ex-wives. You went to see my ex-wives. What for? How did you even find them? Emeka, please. You and I know I'm not an illiterate. I needed answers, so I found a way. You needed answers. You needed to see them. For what? Emeka. You claim we have everything we need in this marriage. We have money, we have this, we have that. Yes, we can have children. What do you mean by I needed what? I needed answers, so I went to see them. You went to see them because we don't have children or what? Emeka, you have a lot of explaining to do. You had better start talking, because from what I heard today, 
everything is going to have a negative effect on this marriage. Excuse me. Sweetheart, those are angry women. I have told you how I sent them away. You of all people should know that they can fabricate anything just to make sure our marriage fails. Why did you even go to them? Why are we unable to have children? We've only been married for three years. Have we not seen our doctor? Emeka, with what I heard today, I don't think we would have one even if we spend eternity together. Really? I wonder what those angry birds, those daughters of Jezebel have fed you with. See, you have to admit it was a mistake going to them first. Look, they want your marriage to fail. Don't you get it? I am so worried. I am so worried the worry is going to drive me crazy. Sweetheart, you don't have to worry. What should matter to you is that you have a husband who loves you, you have enormous wealth, to take care of anything you need. You have comfort. And very soon children will come. I want you to be happy all the time. Because the Bondo man of Onichado has you covered. Baby, don't worry for them. Do you know the problem with most of you men? You believe once you have gone down with a woman, you can always have her whenever you want. Oh, come off it, pretty. I am not one of such men. I don't have that belief. The truth of the matter is, whenever I remember the wonderful moments we've spent together, I feel in my spirit, in my soul, that you are the one for me. Can't you say? You're still drinking beer. Am I not the one that taught you how to drink it? <laughs> This is getting interesting. What do you mean? What makes you think you can have me for keeps? Have you forgotten what you did? One thing they say for sure is permanent, and that is change. The one sitting before you here is a different person from the one you used to know. That one was a monster, but this one is a monk. Please give the monk a chance to prove his love to you. I'm a woman who has seen it all. You cannot weaken me with your classless lines. Did you say classless? Throwback. Remember all the wonderful moments we spent together. When we traveled to the Belizean island, even when we traveled to Cape Town. And I sure do you can remember why they still call me. Obichulus on a Cape Town. Come on, think of it. Give me a chance. <laughs> Sir. It seems as if you have forgotten we have 80 million naira worth of lace in the Fort Warehouse. No, please. I haven't forgotten. I was only waiting for the right opportunity to dispose of the goods. I think the opportunity is here. There is this age of in main line that can sell them off in one month. Age of four. I don't know him. Uh, okay. Ask Ijama to investigate him and uh, do me a memo on that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh. Elizabeth. Sir. Why barge into my office without notice? Sir, uh, I have something to discuss with you, sir. Where is Ijama? She has gone out for her lunch break. So who is at the reception? Please is there with other people that he's waiting for Shama to, to give them credit to come and see you, sir. 
So, what is this thing you want to discuss with me? Mm, it's just that yesterday I. When I. you have refused to go with me. Chica will be very disappointed. I thought you've settled this. I don't feel like traveling to the village. I'll call him. Or better still, see him when he gets back. Hmm? All right. Do take care of yourself while I'm out. I will. Bye. Yeah. Drive safe. Yeah. Call me when you get there. Yeah. So you're not just a graduate. You also have a master's degree certificate added to this. Uh-uh, no, 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 no. Not just a master's certificate, but one from the prestigious London School of Economics and Political Science. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Tell her, baby. I'm telling already. <laughs> she has to know. <laughs> So what our lady from the prestigious London School of Economics and Political Science planning to do? Well, um, I'm just here on a brief visit and also to spend some time with my homegirl. That's me, the mm -hmm. one and only Annabelle. <laughs> <laughs> and afterwards, I will go to Lagos and take up the job that has already been prepared for me. Mm. Wow. You sound like you've gotten everything all planned out. My girl is highly connected. Oh, come on, Annabelle. You know how I roll. I know. I don't have time for them hustlers. Uh. I love them big. I love them. Like always. <laughs> so come on, babe. Tell me, what's up? What's going on? How is the marketing job going? Um, it's been good so far. But, you know, we're still waiting for the best. But, but some folks say that this job of yours exposes women to prostitution oh, please, and all please, of that. Please, 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 babe. Don't even go there. Those folks are allowed to think whatever they want to think. Me, don't care. That's yeah. my girl. No. Whatever, whatever, <laughs> I so me, I just want to explore this town. Meanwhile, here's um Sean Israel's back I got for you. For real? Like oh my god, that's my girl. She's I got my back two for seven, man. <laughs> I got you something as well. Oh really? Cool. This one is a Ducasby shoe. I like shoes. <laughs> oh my Lizzie, my shade. <laughs> my Jezebel, my everything. <laughs> you know, I never knew you were this smart. You are such a wonderful actress, and I am impressed with you. <laughs> I told you, I told you I was going to deliver, didn't I? You did. And you delivered, the, you executed the plan in a perfect way. I am very impressed with you, my dear. <laughs> so, what is going on in the market now? The news is everywhere. Not only in the main market, but all over on the shadow. The news is everywhere. 
that would be bundled of all people are tempted to rape his cleaner in his office. Look, can you feel the shape? <laughs> of all his employees, he chose his cleaner. Very disgraceful. And let me tell you something that is already planned. Tomorrow, our local Ado Light newspaper will publish it. They will print the kind of quantity they never printed before. I must destroy that man. Who is who the bond to attempt to dislodge me in the same market we flooded? Eba in the echo. Or the one easy. Or the one easy. So, out of our main target, the, the union, what are they saying? You know, my dear, this union issue that came up actually gave me the opportunity to deal with the bundle. The truth of the matter is that I had always wanted to destroy that man. The bundle was about easy, easy. And why this look? This whole thing is not about him taking your position from you in the union. Listen, my dear. Udubondo has destroyed me. Nobody respects me anymore because of the way he goes about throwing money at people. Can you imagine that one idiot actually had the audacity to look me in the face and told me that my time has expired? That Udubondo is now the main man. These are the kind of insults I keep getting. And I ask myself, why in this world would I allow this idiot to function freely? With what just happened, he will be forced to retreat to his chair, where he will hide forever and give me the space to function freely, mm -hmm. as I used to do. And then we'll put them away. <laughs> I, I won't put that. Trust the main market members. They will not stop at anything in rubbing it in. I pity him anyway. No. Why, why would you say a thing like that? You don't need to show pity to an idiot that came to destroy me. I am the mafia. The lead mafia of Onishado. We are the owners of this land. What are you saying? Anybody that wants me to go down will be the one that will go down himself. What are you saying? <laughs> I am a Bundi Mopoda. <laughs> So now that the whole thing is over, can I have my ticket to Las Vegas? Oh, Lizzie, why the rush? My name is Okuloka Midiobu. If I keep on that day, listen to me. I am a man with contacts, a man that sits on a mountain of money. I am not shaking. My promise is to send you to Las Vegas Boulevard. I am committed to it. Just don't worry. Before you say yeah, your ticket will be over. You fly down to Las Vegas where you are going to meet somebody that will rock you. <laughs> you want me to believe you? Emeka, how do I believe you? What do you take me for? Do I look like your child? Everything is just in the papers. And the news is all over the papers. You expect me to believe you? What is that? That is in the papers. It's not a guarantee that it is true. I did not do it. It was a setup. How? How do I believe you? How do the people believe you? Eh, Emeka? Emeka, why? Why? What did I do to deserve this disgraceful act from you? Eh? Where, where, where do you want me to hide my face? Where do you want me to hide my face, for God's sake? Even if you wanted to cheat, even if you wanted to be with another woman, not in this shameful manner. I don't know why you're finding it difficult to believe me. Huh? How? Have I ever cheated on you? Why would I start it now? And in this manner too? That question should be yours! That question you just asked me now should be yours, Emeka! Why would you cheat on me and why in this manner? I am so disappointed to say the least. Sudan. Sudan.
Why didn't you not call to me? Who is after me? What have I done to him? I know that already. But the question here is, why would this happen? I am as lost as you are. That girl came as somebody who badly needed a job. Oh, I can may interview on this table. I want to be a cleaner, I want to be a house help. I should have used my village sense to know she was here on a mission. I don't know why this should happen, but who is after me? Udu, take this like a man. It is true the news is all over the place, but I believe with time it will die out. Don't allow it bother you much. Thank you very much. As for the union, Everybody is pained and have decided to withdraw the offer made to you for now, pending when this situation on ground would, would come down. It is very understandable. Yes, no problem. In fact, my brother, that is the least of all the problems I have. But I appreciate you for coming. Have dialogue. You're welcome. Um, uh, let me run now. I've not opened my shop. I just let me come and see you. Let me go. I'll see you later. My brother. Damn. Papers would always write events. They were the what? But what I just told you is exactly what happened. Nothing more, nothing less. But Udu, you were actually trying to blow her eyes. You're Kena in your office. I can't understand that. Why would you want to do a thing like that? In this world, would you do a thing like that? That's not even Udu, in his usual niceness, was only trying to help her. How about, let me even ask something. Her being a cleaner, does it make her less a human being? Oh, kind of like well, Obviously, my argument is very valid. Being nice does not pay. Oh, beautiful, sweet, business was excellent. In fact, I was thinking of coming back home to celebrate with my people. But coming to this kind of news is, is not pleasant at all. My brother, what can we do? Because who is this girl? Who is she? A nobody. A nobody that he was trying to give a life. A nobody at all. Now tell me, now that she has done this, what does she stand to gain? Why are we discussing this? Why? It is very clear. This cleaner was hired by somebody to do what she did. That's exactly what I think. But she was hired by who? Udu here is the one that will help us. To know. Udu, who did you offend? Exactly my confusion. I can't me. think of anyone. Well, well, if you ask me, that girl did not need a job. When we were all on our job, she is an agent planted just for that mission. mission. But that one is very certain. 
It's clear. Gentlemen, I am not as concerned about what people say or think as I am about the way my wife is reacting. Women. Eh, her reaction is natural. Uh, don't, 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 don't let that bother you. Her reaction is about to shatter me. She's threatening to leave. Uh, Oti, listen, I know this is a very serious matter, but I still believe your wife should believe you. Mm. Considering the fact that she knows the kind of man she married. Mm. This is Udu Bondo we are talking about. Udu, do not let her reaction disturb you. She is going nowhere. Eh? I know women. I believe so too. Yes, yes. Well, I'll try to try to make her understand. Yeah, my name is okay. she, she is going nowhere. Okay. Do not let that bother you. Eh? And, uh, let us drink and be merry. Oh, it's a small thing. Amanda, are you out of your mind? Don't even think of that at all. She never think of what. This kind of shame is too much for me to bear. Would leaving your husband take away the shame? Or are you planning to take your life with God forbid? Exactly. So living or not living will not change anything. Your husband needs you now. He needs me. Pretty, did you see need? Yes. Did you think of me when he did what he did? Oh, Amanda. You surprised me. So you don't trust your husband? Trust is not the issue here. In this case, trust is everything. All this while you've been with him, have you ever had any reason to suspect him? Did you ask yourself that question? So why would you think he would sleep with a common cleaner? I don't know. I don't know, Pretty. I don't know what to think anymore. Oh, for crying out loud. But Bantu is a very rich man. He can even have the classiest and most influential woman if he wishes to. So why would he stoop so low as to raping a common cleaner? I mean, I'm not saying we should bow for him when it comes to relations with women. But in this case, no. Yes, I can vouch for him. Again, what happened? One of his trusted account keepers please saw it other people saw it too what are you talking about here do you think it's easy let them claim to have seen whatever they said they, they saw but you need to listen to your husband's version of the story this is a setup you need to stand by your husband you need to listen to him I just said that though. I don't think I can live with this kind of shame. Don't worry. This will pass. There's a saying that said this will pass. And I believe this will also pass. It's just a matter of months, and everything will be forgotten. been calling all day. You did not take my calls. Why? Hey, because I have been busy. I'm so sorry. I just came down to take some liquor and attend to some of the messages that I have. It is a Sunday boss. What could you have been busy doing that you could not ask Lito and say hello on the phone? Do you realize how risky it was for me to walk down the street? Baby, 
Is she from this part of the world? <laughs> this is Lizzie. The same Lizzie I've been telling you about. Oh. Why is she standing? Come, come and sit down. Please, make yourself comfortable. I guess you were right when you said you have been busy all day. Indeed, you've been busy. Really, really busy. And don't you only put a corner that she be oko. Leave this girl. Listen. She's nothing. Everything is under control. Just calm down. <laughs> nothing that happen. Baby, that babe is not as basic as you told me. How? I mean, you have to come up with your game. Before she unlocks you with brutality. Unprecedented. Can you just face the one that concerns you? Leave us to handle the ones that concern us. That one. Nothing. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Take something, man. No, I want to be there. You want me to get me? The last time I call here, that's also what I did give. I got one come out. Go. Hey, come on, say No, you don't go anywhere. Get out! Eh? Are you mad? Oh, what are you now? Hey! You want to get Malola? You slept me. Any man that calls himself my brother, uh. that allows a fool like you to stay in his house and decide who comes in and who goes out. Go. Hey! Hey! What are you? Where is he? Hey! Where is he? 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 Where is he?